Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleam? Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly That our flag was there. Oh, say, does that star spangled banner yet wave or the Whether you're new to aviation or an experienced pilot looking to advance your skills, Go Vertical Aviation has you covered. With an excellent learning atmosphere and a staff committed to excellence in education, Go Vertical Aviation will customize a learning program just for you. For more information, go to GoVerticalAviation.com or call 256-412-5226. Be sure to follow Go Vertical Aviation on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Don't just go. Go Vertical. Boutique Air in Muscle Shoals, Alabama offers direct flights to Atlanta and Pensacola. Boutique Air service runs twice daily, seven days a week, with fares starting at $59. Follow Boutique Air Muscle Shoals on Facebook at Boutique Air MSL and book your flight through BoutiqueAir.com. Boutique Air. Where you can fly private for the cost of commercial. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be performed is greater than the legal services performed by other lawyers. My wife and I sat down with Harlan Mitchell and discussed our own estate planning needs. I know in our experience, Harlan brought up questions that caused us to think about our current situation and what we need to do moving forward. When you sit down with Harlan for your free consultation, you're going to find out things that you may have not thought about when it comes to estate planning. I encourage you to go to BamaEstatePlanning.com or give Harlan Mitchell a call at 256-216-9884 and schedule your free consultation today. Would you like enhanced energy, better moods, less fatigue, help with allergies, better sleep, mental clarity, or just want improvement of your overall immune health and well-being? Do you need to recover from intense activities, workouts, or sports? Then IV therapy at the Drip Factor inside Trinity Medical Center is right for you. Our IV drips are filled with nutrients, vitamins, and minerals that will help your body replenish, restore, and achieve your wellness goals. For more information, visit trinity-medicalcare.com and schedule your appointment today at Trinity Medical Center, located at 500 Governor's Drive. Experience the difference at Athens Bible School. The vision and purpose is to provide each student a quality education in a Christ-centered environment to develop the whole person spiritually, mentally, physically, and socially in safe and supportive surroundings. The solid biblical foundation permeates learning and culture in the classrooms and every extracurricular activity. Hey everybody, this is Daryl Worley, and you're listening to The Mark White Show. Hey, step up and make a difference like he does. This whole world is full of hurt. 
little sunshine and a whole lot of rain. It don't take much to drive those clouds away. Let's all do something good today. You never know what someone's going through. Don't underestimate what you can do. A friendly smile's a tiny price to pay. Let's all do something good today. Welcome to another edition of the Mark White Show. I am your host, Mark White, and I am glad to be coming to you from Colbert County, Alabama in Sheffield. And right now I have in front of me Heather Begley. She's the executive director of Shoals Casa. They're court-appointed special advocates for children. Welcome to the Mark White Show, Heather. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Glad to have you. You've been working with Casa since March of this year? Yes, since March. How's that going? Oh, I love it. I love this job. I love this organization. What about it do you love? One of the things I love is that um, we are volunteer-based and that we have a wonderful group of volunteers who dedicate their time and energy to advocate for children in foster care. And as we met at the front door, you were asking me how much I knew about CASA. (laughs) Even being in law enforcement for as many years as I was, my experience with CASA was relatively limited. Yes. Um, A lot of people, um, some have heard of CASA, some have not, Um, but uh, our goal is to kind of get CASA's name out there and explain what Shoals CASA is, what our mission is, and how we impact the community and how, you know, our community can help support CASA in order to support children that are involved in, um, you know, DHR and the welfare system, children who are abused and neglected are target clients. So any support is greatly appreciated. So when we think about the community as a whole, which area knows the most about CASA? Where have you found that CASA is known, that people really know about this organization? Um, Typically, the people who are more familiar with CASA are um, attorneys in Florence or families who have been impacted by CASA and helped by CASA, um, people involved in the child welfare system. People who provide services to those individuals may know who CASA is. Who needs to know about CASA? Everybody needs to know about <laughs> CASA. They, you know, need to know that we're court appointed special advocates. Um, every week I have phone calls where someone's calling asking a question because they're not really familiar with who we are and what our mission is. And our mission is to be that that um, entity that kind of steps in and advocates for the best interest of children in the court system. We're their voice in court. You know, we go in, we investigate the situations and we present our findings to the to the court. And our sole purpose isn't to serve anything other than the best interest of where that child's permanent placement should be. Well, this isn't the that doesn't have anything to do with me show. This (laughs) is that can have everything to do with me. So Mm -hmm. if a person's sitting there listening right now, what is it about CASA that they need to know to think that, yes, it applies to my life. It would benefit my life if I support this effort. Yes. So CASA impacts so many people. Um, You know, a lot of times people are unaware of of entities out there unless it directly impacts them. But CASA's mission impacts everyone from those that families that are involved with the court system to taxpayers. Studies have shown that children who have CASAs that are in foster care have less placements, so they're not moved around as much in foster care. Their families receive more services. Um, The long-term positive impacts of CASA is that children are are less likely to re-enter the foster care system, and, you know, that saves the state money when it comes to foster care. When people think about foster care, I believe myself included, typically we think about DHR. We think about resources that are offered through that state department. When it comes to CASA, what is the history behind it? How did it get developed and put into place for these young people? Sure. So in, I think it was 1977, a judge in Oregon decided um, he was working with a lot of foster kids and decided he needed an independent entity to step in and present him the facts involved with the cases. So he created the first national CASA. Uh, CASA is nationwide, it's in every state. Um, Alabama has a state CASA. And so the program was set up in Florence, actually, I think in 2001. 
So that's when we initially began in Florence. So that's fairly recent. 2001 yes. is still not that because we've got some organizations that have been around for 100 years. But <laughs> right. you're talking about 2001, 9-11, that time period. So mm-hmm. we're looking now at 20 years of CASA in the Shoals area. Right. And next year, we will celebrate our 20th anniversary. Okay. So that's exciting. Great. That is great. And I don't want to confuse people because as I was talking to you before the show, there was a volleyball tournament in Limestone <laughs> County over the weekend. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. And that's CASA. This is a different kind this of is a CASA. Different CASA. Yes. <laughs> we don't want to confuse that. So we're not talking about the CASA that's associated. For those who listen in Limestone County and the surrounding area, we're not talking about the CASA that supports the volleyball tournament, which also supported the Athens Limestone Hospital Foundation. This is a separate entity, has nothing to do with that. So we want right. to make sure that we're talking about folks who are volunteering to support these children, these young people through the court system to be advocates for them. Right to find the best route for them. You mentioned about how you even yourself didn't understand the training that the people go through to be volunteers and what they actually understand when it comes to these young people. Right. Yes. So I've worked alongside the best, some of the best, you know, my opinion, cost of volunteers in the past. And at that time, I didn't even as a professional you know, social worker within the area that provided reunification and family preservation services for over eight years, I did not know the full extent of the training that CASA volunteers went through. Um, When I started back in March, the more I learned, the more excited and energized I became, you know, wanting to make sure that the community realized and respected really how much time and energy and and dedication our volunteers do put in. They go through 30 hours pre-service training um, we we go through everything from mock um, trials to prepare them, you know, so that when they be- they come to us and they have their first case, they're really prepared um, for what may happen. You know, um, every case is unique. Every cost of volunteer is unique. And we try to partner our volunteers with the best cases we think would fit their personality. So we, we're looking forward to having more volunteers from all walks of life. That's what I was going to say. You're your volunteers can be as diverse as your clients. Yes, your young, they I'm need calling them clients, but your young people that they're representing. Yes. So it can be a very diverse group of people. Yes, they. it needs to be diverse. It needs to reflect the community in which we live. Absolutely. And you have found that even foster children, those who've come out of the foster system, have chosen <clears throat> to be volunteers with CASA as well, haven't you? Yes, our volunteers are phenomenal. They come from all walks of life. You don't have to have, you know, the top doctorate degree. Um, as long as you're, you know, you're, there is an application process. Um, we do extensive background checks because this is an important role and this is um, children, you know, and their right. safety. So, but I mean, people come from all walks of life. Um, some professionals, we have a lot of really good professionals. Some who were foster kids at one point in their life and they just want to give back. And they want to be there and help support and advocate um, for a child that's in the situation they were in as, as children. And then others are just people in the community that have a love for children and want to help. That's one of the things, Heather, that I think about people who've had these experiences themselves. And maybe later on in life, when they start to get settled, they're looking for an opportunity to give back. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's something that's really hit them really hard that they don't know what to do. This sounds like an opportunity for them if they've had those experiences and those who've not. But say someone who has a little more freedom or some flexibility with their schedule, maybe somebody who's retired from their job and they feel like there's something more that they need to do. Oh, yes. We have some people, you know, who have called and said that exact same thing. You know, I'm I'm retiring and I would love to have something to fill my, my time with. Or I've had people call me and say, I've been through something similar. I want to be able to give back. This is really, and we're really flexible with our trainings. Um, trainings are offered here on site at our facility. Um, we're also branching out to a church, um, reaching out to our local churches to see if any of them would have enough volunteers interested in um possibly us going to the church location and providing those classes there so they have a sense of community there. Um, But it's really opened up for anybody and everybody who just wants to positively impact a child that is going through probably one of the worst times of their life. Yes. Hats off to those who are volunteering. I want to 
have a special message to you who are volunteering, serving with Shoals Casa. Thank you for what you do, and thank you for stepping up to the plate to help these young people, these children. It's going to make a difference in their life. I know it is. It, they just need somebody to show that they care, show that they love them. And a lot of those things go a long way with a young person in helping to develop them and maybe some of the challenges yes. they've had to think that, well, I'm not loved and I'm not worthy and I'm not a person who fits into the community. Mm -hmm. I'm so different that I can't blend in with everybody. I can't work with other mm -hmm. people. It can change that mentality pretty quickly when they know somebody cares. It really can. Uh, you know, our CASA volunteers commit to, to 12 months. Um, some have stayed longer. Some of them have had cases that have lasted for years. Um, but, you know, it really does mean a lot to these foster kids to know that they have that one adult that just is there for them. It's their person. That person is their vo voice in court to say, hey, you know, this is the best placement for this child or, hey, this isn't the best placement for this child. And they really look forward to their volunteers coming out once a month to meet them because we do go out and meet with with the child once a month and we do go out and investigate the homes we do go out and investigate to find out where the best placement for this child is because our main goal is for them to find permanency in a safe and stable and loving home that's an incredible amount of responsibility and as you <laughs> mentioned the training is good yes and so it's not just taking someone comes in the building here and says i want to do this they get some knowledge, they get some tools, yes. some resources to help them to be able to take on this major responsibility. Yes, and it's really great because um, CASA has the ability to go in and be independent. So the families are more often receptive to a CASA volunteer as, you know, DHR or another entity that's coming in. So, I mean, it's really good to have that CASA volunteer to come in. They do the 30 hours pre-service training. We go through those things with them. We go through discuss confidentiality because you are, you know, um, dealing with, with important information and you need to know how to keep those things confidential. We teach them how to advocate, you know. Um, myself and uh, Gloria Stokes is our volunteer coordinator. Our uh, main thing that we want to focus in when it comes to our volunteers is to support them. Uh, volunteers see things and hear things that normal people are not going to be exposed to. And our main goal is to make sure they feel supported and that they have someone they can come to if they're having a problem on a case or struggle with anything, you know, because we don't want them to, to feel overwhelmed. We want to support them and make sure they have everything they need so that they can properly evaluate the situation. And you know, our main goal is um, to investigate. It is to look at the facts in court. Our main goal is just to present the facts and then give our recommendation. It's not our job to convince anybody either, either way. So we're just that individual entity that's just really looking out for what is in the best interest of this child. Is, is it being with a family member? Is it being with a foster family that's taken these children in and love these children. And so um, it's really nice to be on that side of it, you know, um, of just focusing on what's in their best interest. Right now we're talking to Heather Begley. She is the executive director of Shoals Casa located in Sheffield, Alabama. When we come back, we're going to talk some more about this. We're going to talk more about CASA. We're also going to talk about events that are coming up and ways that you can connect with CASA if you choose to be a volunteer or maybe there's some other way that you would like to help. I hope you stick with us. You are listening to The Mark White Show, and I'm your host, Mark White. A little wink, a pat on the back. A big old hug, a little laugh We can make a difference, all we have to do is try Every day's a chance to change somebody else's life Let's all do something good today 
Mr. Cecil Batchelor is the one that started this business as Dependable Service Center. And even though now it's Green's Dependable Hardware and we're a true value store, our tagline is still your Dependable Service Center. We've tried to keep that alive for all these years. Mr. Batchelor really started a good business. We're really excited to be carrying on a long-standing tradition. It's the oldest retail store in the city of Russell. We're Green's Dependable Hardware, 15220A Highway 43 in Russellville, Alabama. We're right behind McDonald's or right across the street from the hospital. Number is 256-331-0123. The Dependable Service Center. The best way to buy, sell, and experience land is with Jonathan Berryhill. For your farm, ranch, recreational, hunting, timber, and acreage needs, contact National Land Realty Professional Jonathan Berryhill at 256-874-7354 or email at jberryhill at nationalland.com. Be sure to follow Jonathan Berryhill with National Land Realty on Facebook. This is your land. Located in Tuscumbia, Alabama, the Alabama Music Hall of Fame honors Alabama's music achievers. You can even go into the recording studio and try out your talents as a singer. That's the Alabama Music Hall of Fame located at 617 Highway 72 West in Tuscumbia, Alabama. Open Tuesday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Give them a call at 256-381-4417. Check them out on the web at alamhof.org. Thompson Roofing and Construction is a locally owned family business serving the North Alabama and Southern Tennessee area. They are a Better Business Bureau a member since 2011 and a GAF Master Elite Contractor. Give them a call at 256-952-3309 or check them out on the web at 256roofing.com. They offer free inspections. Thompson Roofing and Construction. Is it time for a haircut? Go see my friends Philip Butler and B.H. Parker at Southwind Barbershop, located at 1637 Lee Street in Rogersville, Alabama. Give them a call at 256-247-5658. That's 256-247-5658. If you like hickory smoked ribs that fall apart at the slightest pull, or barbecue shoulders that are so slow smoked each tender bite melts in your mouth, then you are going to love Baby Jack's Barbecue. Baby Jack's Barbecue in Bartlett and Arlington. Try the barbecue chicken, beef brisket sandwich, barbecue potato, it is huge, or the Baby Jack trio, pork, turkey, or beef brisket sliders. You like wet ribs? They like dry ribs. Get one slab that has them both. Catering? Baby Jack's can feed a family or an army. Drive in, drive through, order online, or come in and set them in. Baby Jack's Barbecue in Bartlett at Highway 70 in Appling or in Arlington at Highway 70 just a block west of 385. Hi, I'm Crystal Gale, and you're listening to The Mark White Show. And one smile can make a difference. Na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na. Na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na. Na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na. Someone loves you. I do. To the city Works extra hard All day Finishes up Early So he can get away Cause there's a Blue eyed kid on second Base Wants dad to watch him play Daddy knows he Welcome back to the Mark White Show I so am your host Mark White And right now we are in Colbert County, Alabama more specifically in Sheffield, and we are at Casa, Shoals Casa, and I have Heather Begley. She's the executive director of Shoals Casa. She's sitting in front of me. Welcome back to the Mark White Show, Heather. Thank you, Mark. Great conversation, especially when we're trying to help children. Anything that we can do to try to help their lives, their young lives, because they need opportunities. Yes. They need to be able to grow, and as I mentioned, know that there are people who care about them, that love them, that want the very best for them, and that will help them move forward in life. I'm 42 years old. 
I'm not going to guess your age, <laughs> but we we have a certain level of experience in our life. We've had some things happen for yes. us that have put us in positions where I'm talking to you here, you're talking to me. Right. There are children out there who need those same opportunities, and they need to be able to grow and to thrive as people. And Mark White's done what Mark White's done at 42 years old. I've got to think about the younger people. Right. Even like my daughter, who's seven years old, think about what can I do for my daughter moving forward so that she has successes in life, so that she feels accomplished or she feels loved and accepted. And I believe that's very important when it comes to the work you do here at Shoals Casa. It is because, you know, with working with children who are in foster care, you know, this is a crisis in their life. They've been removed from everything they know. Their normalcy has changed. A lot of children, you know, um, think that the way their home lives are is, is normal and everybody lives that way. And often, you know, um, they don't know anything's different until their life's uprooted and they've been um, removed from their parents and placed in a foster home. So, you know, CASA can play a, a very important part in that because we go out to the foster homes and we meet with these children and we get to know the foster parents and we get to know um, everybody involved and we make sure that the children are safe to the best of our ability um, while they are with our program. Speaking of the program and some of the opportunities that people have to connect with Shoals Casa, I know you have some events coming up. Very excited about that. Yes, we are so excited. So August the 28th, we're going to get to have our first um, major fundraiser coming out of COVID. Um, we're going to have Shoals Music Fest, Shoals Casa Music Fest. Let me get that correct. <laughs> um and we're super excited. It is that we are the first nonprofit to be able to have a concert at the Muscle Shoals New Ample Theater. Um, and we have a really terrific lineup. Um, we're going to have Moon Tree. They performed uh, for the Cruising for a Cure that took place a couple months ago. We're going to have TOC out of Nashville. We're going to have Brian Muse. And we're going to have House Ledge in the review as our headliners. Okay. And this has come about over months of planning? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it. Yes. Those things don't just happen. No. And we, you know, we really have been blessed. Um, you know, God's really showed up for us and, and things have just fallen into place. Um, we're so excited. Um, we're, we also are going to have food trucks there that day. Um, we're going to have a silent auction and we're going to have some surprise guests that show up to kind of do some intermission things for us as well. But we are just so blessed and so excited to have this event. It's a great opportunity for the Muscle Shoals area to highlight Muscle Shoals music. Um, it's a family friendly event. Um, so everybody can just come out. The tickets are $10 a piece. You can go to Eventbrite, Shoals Casa Music Fest on Eventbrite. I think they're like $12.23 a piece something like that there because there's that fee. But we will have local, we'll have tickets for sale here at our office and a few other locations. Um, people can check back on Facebook with us on Facebook and um, we'll have those, whenever the tickets come in, we'll have those locations listed. While I'm thinking about it, when it comes to the silent auction, are you still taking items? Yes, yeah, so we would love to have, we need items for the silent auction and door prizes. Um, we're also offering sponsorships for our shirts, our t-shirts. We are going to have, um, we have our logo on the front, on the back, uh, for a hundred dollar donation sponsorship, you will have your name listed on the back for $300. You can have your logo enlarged on the back of the shirt. Um, so we're still very much, I, I joke and say this week is when we, the rubber hits the road. Yes. <laughs> so we're trying to really get it out there and advertise it because we just want to do something for our community, bring awareness to Shoals Casa and what our mission is and the importance of providing advocacy for abused and neglected children in the Shoals area. Since we're talking about the sponsorships, the silent auction, I'd like to immediately get out an email address or a phone number for people to be able to connect about that if they'd like to be a part of that. Sure. So they can call us here at our office at 256-765-0041. Also, they could email me, H. Begley, B-E-G-L-E-Y, at shoalscasa.org. Okay. And now let's talk about the volunteer side. If people have been listening today, they've listened for the past few minutes, and they're thinking, maybe this is something I would like to look into yeah. further, how can <clears throat> they start the process of becoming a volunteer here at Shoals Casa? So the best way to start that is to either give us a call here at our, at our office. Um, we will send out a application 
for them to fill out, move it forward. They can drop by here anytime um, or they can email me. Okay, great. And that was H. Begley at, at shoalscasa.org. That's H. Begley at shoalscasa.org. Heather, I appreciate what you're doing. I know you've been here a very short time, mm-hmm. but your service as a social worker really helped you to be in this role, in this yes. position. And I know that you have a great team of people who were actually here before you came in. Yes. And so they can help you a lot too. Yes. Yes. We have a fantastic um, board and Gloria Stokes is the volunteer coordinator. She actually prior to that was a volunteer. Um, And so we just have a wonderful organization. You know, we're just like a big family. That's why I say, you know, I have very much a team approach. I'm all about teamwork and doing things as a team. And and that's kind of how we uh, tackle things here. We have wonderful volunteers, and but we can always use more. Now, we will start back having our volunteer classes at the end of August. Our first class is actually full at this time, and we're starting to take um, applicants for the second, second class. That will be the 1st of September. What does $1 do for CASA? Okay, so $1 equals, I think, I think it's, uh, one of the reports said equals $23, actually. $1 donated equals about $23 because we are volunteer-based. Um, you know, we have to keep the lights on in order to be able to have volunteers. We need to be able to have the, you know, phones running. So, um, you know, every little bit really does impact. And, you know, it goes directly into the program and, and the program's needs and to reach um, the training that we need for our volunteers to do the outreach, to be able to provide the necessary things that they need in order to take care of the children that, that they work with. The person may not be a sponsor. They may not have a business or want to be a sponsor necessarily or be on the t-shirt or they may not have something necessarily right. for the silent auction. Mm-hmm. They may not be able to volunteer. Right. There's still ways that they can help. Right. And so we also have a website, shoalscasa.org, where um, individuals can go there and donate directly to our organization. As it says on that website at shoalscasa.org, too many children in the child welfare system lose their families, their rights, and their hope. CASA is here as court-appointed special advocates, CASA, for children. It's a volunteer-powered network of committed people from all walks of life who believe society has a fundamental obligation to these children. I believe that too, Heather, and I know you do as well. Mm -hmm. I appreciate your time today as we've talked about Shoals Casa, and you're always welcome to come back on the Mark White Show. Just message me when events come up, when things are happening, and that way we can put it out to Mark White Show listeners, and then hopefully Mm -hmm. they'll share it with other people and let other folks know about what Shoals Casa is doing here in the Shoals area. Well, thank you. We appreciate that. You know, our mission is just to provide advocacy for children who are abused and neglected and you know a lot of people in our community don't know that this that this exists and they look for um, wonderful ways you know to help children and this is a just a fantastic way to do that the shoals casa music fest will be coming up august 28th folks again i want you to check out shoalscasa.org that's shoals s-h-o-a-l-s casa c-a-s-a dot org check them out and find out where you can make a difference in shoals casa Here at the Mark White Show, we're trying to make a difference in our communities, and I hope that this show has an impact on your life. If it does, I want you to share it with your family, your friends, your neighbors. Let them know about the Mark White Show and what we're trying to do to make a difference in our communities all across the country and the world. You can follow the Mark White Show on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and also subscribe to the Mark White Show podcast via Apple iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Audioboom, SoundCloud, Blueberry, YouTube, and TuneIn Radio. You have been listening to another edition of the Mark White Show from Shoals Casa in Sheffield, Alabama. And this is Mark White encouraging you to find your purpose by making a difference in someone's life today. Who live and love in my Whether you're new to aviation or an experienced pilot looking to advance your skills, Go Vertical Aviation has you covered. With an excellent learning atmosphere and a staff committed to excellence in education, Go Vertical Aviation will customize a learning program just for you. 
For more information, go to GoVerticalAviation.com or call 256-412-5226. Be sure to follow Go Vertical Aviation on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Don't just go. Go Vertical. Boutique Air in Muscle Shoals, Alabama offers direct flights to Atlanta and Pensacola. Boutique Air service runs twice daily, seven days a week, with fares starting at $59. Follow Boutique Air Muscle Shoals on Facebook at Boutique Air MSL and book your flight through BoutiqueAir.com. Boutique Air. Where you can fly private for the cost of commercial. He's got a cold. Nothing to worry about. Just need a couple of stitches. Your COVID rapid test is negative. Oh boy, x-ray shows it's broken. Trust Trinity Medical Care when you need urgent care or routine medical care. Walk-ins are welcome or let Trinity help you virtually with telemedicine. Visit trinity-medicalcare.com for more information and follow them on Facebook. Trinity Medical Care, where your care comes first. Located on Governor's Drive in South Parkway. You hear me, people, when I say, well, let's all do something good and 